Hi my beautiful family and welcome to if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, if you like this video or if you just want to hear my opinions now I'm here today very excited I always say that in every video but today I'm very excited I'm going to explain you guys why my face is so red me and my beautiful friend Valerie we do this box swap every six months and uh, we've been doing a couple of those now I think this is our third or second I can't really remember but I will put the playlist down below if you want to see those um, box swaps before that we did and also see the latest box swap that I opened last week and I'm very very excited this is uh, all of the products today in front of me that I'm going to try so I'm going to try all of the products that I got in the box swap today for the first time and I can't wait anymore I'm so all excited to just grab these products and use them today uh, my face is red because I just showered and of course washed my hair and I tried the product that I got from Valerie one of the products that I got from her this is a Kate Somerville Expo exfoliate intensive exfoliating treatment that I just used on my face that is why my face is so red this is something that you use a.m. or p.m. use one or twice a week apply to a wet face massage for 30 seconds leave on for two minutes rinse and gently pat dry now I just use this and it's a very interesting to show you the color it's dark green it reminds me of karma lipstick from Jeffree Star it smells like a grass minty I don't know I just like the smell of it uh, the scent and I like how it feels on the skin it has like small small exfoliating dots in it but it's very nice to the skin it does feel tingling a little bit and warm when I had it on my face and every time I do exfoliating exfoliating mask this is how my face looks so it's kind of a reaction and my face feels very very soft it feels a little bit dry right now but I just took a long shower uh, my my skin was on the water for a long time so it's a little bit dry after this exfoliation too but I'm definitely going to continue using it I love these kind of things but I also have another product that I got from Valerie that's also from the same brand Cat Somerville Wrinkle Warrior it's one in two two in one plumping moisturizer plus serum hydrate and more plumping moisturizer and serum so this is something to uh, use am and pm use twice a day apply thin even layer to face and neck all skin types all ages so that is what i'm going to use as my serum it's very thick i don't know if you can see it it's see-through it smells minty i like it also kind of that has that natural scent fresh grass Scent, but it's very pleasant. I like it. Mm. Oh, it is so soft on the skin. Oh, I like it. I'm only going to use um, the product that she sent to me, and actually, I have full face of products. I'm so excited. The only thing I'm not going to use today is this from same brand that I used just right now. This is Kate Somerville Skin Healthy Exper Experts. I'm sorry if I pronounce something wrong, but this is. Uh, product for acne act treatment it's something that you use just on acnes uh, and blemishes uh, and not use on the whole face so I'm not going to use it to now because right now I don't have any uh, don't have any breakouts but I do get some and I'm very excited to get this kind of product if you really want to see me unboxing this box I'm going to put the card up here so you can watch that video later or link down below I want to do my uh, eyes first and I do did receive two Pro primers from LA Girl kind of nude and white shade I love eyeshadow primers and I think Valerie knows that so I also received this LA Girl palette that it's so beautiful and very vibrant so I'm going to use that too and I actually want to use the white primer because these shades maybe work better with a white primer so I'm going to use that beautiful palette I haven't tried LA Girl eyeshadows before I'm not really sure but here are the shade all the shades and I'm definitely going to use them today um, I think there are two two matte shades and uh, the rest is like set and finished so I'm going to use this today and I'm going to have white base so I'm going to 
zoom in a little bit to see better and if you are interested to see all of these products now on my skin then please keep on watching I'm going to uh, begin with the eyes just because um, if there is any fallout so I don't mess uh, my makeup rest of the face makeup I actually got the pure foundation that I'm so excited about and the prime everything all of the products are wonderful um, so I don't have an eyebrow product so I will use Maybe one eyeshadow or something else. Ooh, this is so white and nice. It's very even. Still my um, wrinkle, not wrinkles, but the discoloration is peeking through. But it's a very nice base. I think you can build this up to be very white if you want to. But it's blending very nice this primer. I'm actually going to use another primer on the other eye just to see how that is reacting. I haven't opened all of the spa packages because I want to do this in front of camera so you see that I don't cheat, that I haven't tried this before. The only thing I did open was that exfoliator but also the sponge that I got I did have to open it to wet it so I don't need to do that while I sit here. Uh, so let's go in with this one. Also very nice and soft. It doesn't feel heavy on the eyes. Well, I like this one too. This covered a little bit more than the white one. Oh, I like it. I like both of them. I hope they will last on my very oily eyelids. But I'm going to set the primers a little bit. So I'm going to use the powder that I got. This is LA Girl Pro Face. HD high definition matte pressed powder, the classic ivory. This is supposed to be long lasting oil controlling powder, mattifying finish for radiant look, helps covering blemishes, imperfections, paraben, fragrance free, mirror, and spongy included. Apply to face with sponge. Well, I'm going to use the brush, but we do have a sponge. You want to open it like this, and then, oh, okay. So get the sponge down here. Cute. I'm really into this world today. I want to try these. I'm going to do that another time. But today I'm going to go into this peachy brownish shade. And I'm going to go in with this first shade because this is a matte. My brush is a little bit wet. So I hope it won't. Ooh. Oh my God, this is pigmented. This is very pigmented. Very nice. It's blending. And what I like about this primer, I hope it really keeps my oils in control so it doesn't crease. Also blending nice. But I kind of prefer how this eyeshadow looks on the white base. Looks like I have two different eyeshadows on. Cute, I like it. Uh, I like this, this palette so far. I'm going to take a smaller brush and try to dip up the corners here. And the crease. This is a beautiful shade, very fall looking. This is kind of building up very very nice so I'm going to go into this second shade with the same brush this is more like a satin finish I think I'm going to try it with the finger it's very pigmented the finger works a little bit better oh I like it so peachy and nice. The finger works better with, than the brush with this satin finish. Um, 
eyeshadow. And I want to go in with this shade here next to it. Oh, this is more pinkish. Doesn't look so pink uh, in the palette than it does on the eye, transforms on the eye, but it's a beautiful shade. I actually want to try and go with this light shade above. I don't want to take off this. Um, oh, this is nice. This one is very pigmented. It also has this um, pinkish orange undertone. Very pigmented palette. And I'm going to go in with this peachy shade and just blend with the fingers. I also got the eyeliner, so I'm going to use an eyeliner. The eyeliner that I got is Sleek's Sleek Eyeliner. This is Felt Liner, Zodiac Black. I haven't tried the Sleek's eyeliner before, or I don't think so. I need my... I love Valerie. She's an amazing YouTuber. You need to subscribe to her and check her out. She's amazing. So, ooh, nice tip. And very black. Very nice. Let's see. I'm not so good at putting the eyeliner, but let's see. I um, don't think... I don't know if I will do a wing. But let's try... I like this eyeliner. It's it really is so black and nice and easy to work with. So this liner is very nice, but I have very hooded eyes and it's hard for me to see without my glasses when I put the eyeliner on. But I did my best, so I don't think they're so even. This one is a little bit thicker than this other one, but I'm definitely going to continue playing with this one. It dries down very fast and it's very easy to work with, so I really like it a lot. I'm going to use the now the eyelashes that we got that she got me. It's this Eyler. I can't really pronounce the brand, but I haven't tried their eyelashes before. This is number 117, blue black lashes. They're blue and black. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't know that. I could use if I knew, I would use this blue eyeshadow, but we are going to use it. I didn't know they were blue-black. If I knew, I would definitely use the, the uh, blue eyeshadow. I haven't seen what it said on the package before. I also got the eyelash glue that I really wanted. I wanted this eyelash glue for so long, but it's not available here in Sweden. Some Kiss products are, but not this eyelash glue. Couldn't find it. I could definitely cut this a little bit, but I am not, didn't do this this time. Go over to Valerie's channel and look at her video where she used all of the products that I sent to her. You can also see her unboxing. I will put all the links down below for you so you can watch that. It's so exciting. I love doing this box swap with her. Eyelashes are on and let's go to the next product. So now, oh my hair is still wet. And the thing that was on my wish list that she got me is the Cover FX Gripping Primer. Oh my god, this was available on Beauty Bay and I watched I think Tati's video where she was Talking about this primer, this is one of the best primers ever. She used this one together with the Tarte Pore Filling Primer. And I went to the Beauty Bay immediately to order it, but it was sold out and it still isn't available. And it's only on the Beauty Bay that I can find it that was on the website. No other website here in Sweden is selling this primer. They sell the other sorts from Cover FX, other primers, but not this one, Gripping Primer. A unique jelly texture that creates a smooth glass-like finish 
on the skin and grips makeup for flawless application and long lasting. Perfect for all skin types, vegan, free of parabens, gluten, minerals, oil, fragrance, talc, sulfate, can't pronounce the other words, but this is gently pad onto clean moisturized skin uh, prior to makeup application. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's thick. I'm not going to use. Does it have a special? Yeah, it has interesting scent. Well, it's thick and it kind of is feeling like glue, but not heavy one. And it says pad. So. But we also have another primer that we are going to try that I'm also very excited about. I am going to try both of the primers because I always use two primers. I love using this Hourglass primer together with Tarte Pore Feeling Primer. So I'm going to use another primer to, on my T-zone. This one is very tacky. It kind of feels like this milk. It's, the milk one is more moisturizing. This one is really gripping on the skin and ready for the foundation. I like this one. So far, so good. Okay, let's see. The next product is one that I screamed, I think, when I picked this up from the box. This is the Elf Poreless Puffy Primer that it's not available here in Sweden at all. And I was so excited when I saw this one. I mean, this was the best. Uh, I loved all the products that she sent me before, but um, I, mean, I don't know. I was so excited about this box. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, this perfecting prime, uh, puffy primer smooths the skin and preps with uh, squalene to help moisturizing grip your makeup for all day wear. Glide on over the skin, smooths, apply a thin even amount on moisturized skin prior to makeup application. Allow, for, allow to set for 30 seconds before you go in with the makeup. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use just a little bit of it for my pores. I'm going to try this another time all over the skin. I'm so excited. It's a small amount. I think I went a little bit overboard, but so my face is really sticky right now but I like that feeling it means that the makeup will stay on my face so for the foundation I got the pure 4-in-1 love your selfie foundation it's just uh, it just arrived to Sweden but not all of the hundred shades which made me disappointed I got the MP1 uh, as the shade uh, from Valerie I think this will be a good sort of a good match so, but I also got this concealer that I tried before. This is the Pro Concealer from LA Girl. I like this concealer. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to use this foundation. Sorry, my voice. This foundation and this concealer on my face. And I'm going to set this with the powder. Now, uh, I got this e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Use wet or dry. I did wet it because I like using wet sponge for my foundation. And it's so huge when I wet it it expanded a lot it was in this packaging and this color made me so happy it's just like my nails 100% same shade as my nails and it looks amazing matching 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 today I like this it feels very soft um, can't wait to try it as my um, sponge use for the foundation feels very nice very very nice can't wait to try it and I think it's been 30 seconds, so we are going to go in with this. I love these eyelashes. Two pumps. Doesn't smell anything. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And use this side of the sponge. Let's go in. Oh, it looks like a nice match. Well, it looks like a really good match. You did an amazing job, Valerie. And the sponge is so soft. Really like the sponge. 
and the foundation glides on the skin perfectly. It's look like a, it feel it looks in the mirror like I don't have foundation. And it's perfect, perfect shade. She couldn't choose better shade for me. This looks like my skin. It looks like I don't have foundation at all. I'm not going to put more on. I could definitely build up the coverage, but I'm not going to. Or should I? Yes, I will. Why do I lie? I'm going to build up coverage a little bit more. But so far, I'm loving this foundation. I'm obsessed. I'm loving the foundation. Thank you, guys. See you. No, I have other products to try out, but I'm loving the foundation. So I'm going to go into the concealer. This is in shade porcelain. I'm loving the foundation. I'm obsessed. And I did like this concealer when I used it before. I think it's three years now since I used this concealer and it's a good one. And I really like the sponge. I can never have enough of sponges. I love sponges. Makeup sponges. My God, this foundation, it looks like my skin. It really looks, it doesn't look dry. It just looks like my skin. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to set everything with the powder that I got from Valerie Allegra. I'm actually going to use this sponge. I don't like using sponges that come with the powder, powders like this. I tried a couple of times, but it doesn't work out for me. This concealer blends nice. I could definitely use more for more coverage, but I'm not going to use so. And let's go in with this powder. So I use the sponge for the under eyes. For the rest of the face, I'm using a spa brush. I'm going in with um, this brush kind of just apply it because this there is a fly again this foundation doesn't look like it needs to be set so I'm not going to use a lot of the powder but I really like this powder it doesn't look cake it doesn't look heavy on the skin it looks nice very nice powder I like it I haven't tried it before so I'm very happy to have it it really made everything look so more, more even I like it I really like it Okay, so I need to do my eyebrows and I see that I in this palette I don't have a shade for my eyebrows and I'm going to go in just a little bit with this Anastasia powder. So I'm going to I'm going to be back when I fill this in. So my eyebrows are down, they're not twins, they're sisters. I'm loving this so far. I'm loving the makeup look on the eyes, I'm loving the face makeup, I'm loving everything. But we are going to finish the makeup look, so I'm going to go in with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. And I want to go in with the bl blue shades. Definitely going to use the blue shades right now. So I'm going to go in with this beautiful blue shade that it's matte on my lower lash line. A little bit powdery. So we're going to match, match the eyelashes and I'm loving the um, eyeliner so I'm going to take uh, this kind of flat brush let me <laughs> this kind of brush and go into this dark this is a satin shade but I'm going to use it on this kind of brush and uh, place it just under the lower lash line And blend it in this other blue shade. This is a beautiful shade. Uh, I'm going to go in this blue purple purplish shimmer shade and have that here. Oh I like this. I 
I like this. I like this. Okay. So, love the palette so far. Really like it. I'm going to go in with this big boy. I, I was so excited when I saw this in the box. I wanted to buy this as well the, the day it launched, but it's not possible to buy order from their website to Sweden. It's not possible to buy it at all in Sweden. So when I saw that she got this for me, guys, I cried. You need to see that video. I'm going to link it, link it down below. I cried. I did use the perfume. It smells so good. I used the perfume. Um, but I didn't use the other products. And I don't have perfume right now. I did take a shower and washed my hair. That it's still wet, as you can see. But I have a lot of gel for my curls in it too. So I need to comb that through. But I have also these kind of uh, eyeshadows in here that I'm, uh, I am going to use. Uh, but I'm going to use the perfume first. Let's use the perfume first. Mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. And then I'm going to use the... There is something in here that is says limited edition butter. I don't know what this is. Pep the bubble. Is this a lipstick? Lip cream. Remember lip cream. We have a lip cream also in here. Uh, I'm going to go in one of these shades. Uh, I'm going to mix these two shades. And I want to kind of dark up the outer corner here. This is exactly what I needed. So beautiful. I'm definitely going to try these another time. But I want to go into this bronzer. Now this looks like deep bronzer, like it has a shimmer in it, I don't know. It doesn't really remind me of the other Physician Formula bronzer. I don't know if it's the same or not, it doesn't say so. The eyeshadows, the lip product, lip cream and the highlighter is limited edition. But the blush and the bronzer look the same, doesn't say it so probably is available somewhere. But I'm going to use the brushes that she sent to me, this beautiful kit from e.l.f. brushes. And they are a travel kit. This number one is for foundation, but I don't care. I'm going to use it in another way. I always use my brushes in different, in different way uh, when the, as they, than they're supposed to be used. So I forgot to use these for the eyeshadows, unfortunately, but we have a highlighter brush and we have an um, angled brush, blush brush. Now we can use this for the blush, but I need one for the bronzer. And try to build it up. It says, it smells so good, it says the deep bronzer, butter bronzer, but it looks like it's a different shade than the bronzer I have. I'm going to compare those two. I have a um, Physicians Formula bronzer. This one looks to be a little bit more, shim more shimmery, not shimmery, but has that satin finish. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful bronzer. Look how it blends. So nice. And my face smells so good right now. Oh my god, I'm loving this bronzer and I can't stop. I'm going to use this eyeshadow brush. This brush that it says concealer brush. And I'm going to use it for my nose. Ooh. This works perfect for the nose contour. And then we are going to go into the blush. We're going to use the blush brush. This is Copper Banana. I haven't tried their blushes. So I'm very excited to try the blushes from Physician Formula. Ooh, it has a nice shimmer to it. Very pigmented though. And the brush is so soft. I 
I like this blush. So nice, so nice. Let's go into the... Look at these cute handles. They are so cute. I'm going to use the highlighter brush and go in this bra bla uh, highlighter there. It's limited edition. It looks to be like more uh, glittery. I need my mirror. So see? It's a beautiful. It has some glitter in it. Yeah, definitely. But it also has this nice undertone. It has a glitter in it, but I don't hate it. I kind of like this highlighter. I'm not always into the glittery highlighters, but this one has that um, shade under it too, that kind of base shade that kind of makes everything look... Um, yes, it's a highlighter with some glitter in, so it gives you nice sparkle. I'm loving this look so far. Loving everything on my face. Okay, so I think we have... Ooh, we have lipstick, mascara, and powder, uh, and um, spray left. So, I'm going to set the face before I go in with the rest of the products. I got this LA Girl Setting Spray, Set and Fix for Extend Wear. I haven't tried, I love setting sprays. I have so many I love. I always buy new, can't have enough. Like sponges or foundations, can't have enough. So, I'm going to use this to set my face mm, it has a nice mist really nice mist but also has nice scent to it very fresh not strong but very fresh and very nice mm. Ooh, I like it and I'm loving the highlighter. Really loving. I love all of the makeup right now. Okay, so we have... Other thing that was on my wish list is this mascara, Damn Girl. Now, I can't try it because I have falsies on. But I'm going to try it for my under eyelash. Um, and I was so excited to get this. I tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. That one smudged so much and flaked on my face. I couldn't even understand why people like it so much. I love the effect. It really gave me false lashes effect. Full lashes, beautiful lashes. It looked amazing. I was so excited to, to have it. And I was so excited and wanted it to last. But it flaked and it smudged a lot. I also bought the waterproof one. Didn't work out. You can check it on my channel. channel. I do have video somewhere. Uh, you can search for it. I don't like waterproof, all the other. But this one, I am very excited to try out. Was on my wish list. Now, what happened with this brush? That's a lot of the product on this brush. I need to take off some. Oh my God, this is so coated with product. It's very thick. Uh, I'm kind of scared that it's going to flake because this is a very thick formula and this brush is coated with a lot of product, too much product. Um, okay, so let's go in. So it worked very nice on the low lash line. Now I can't see it. I'm definitely going to continue using this to try it more. But so far I'm lacking. It does look very thick there. So. But so far it looks very nice. It's kind of hard to work with this big brush under the low lash line. I'm definitely going to use it another time. I have two last products. I got so many lip gloss, lip liners. I'm so happy. Uh, I got two... Four, six, eight, nine different shades from Allegra. All of them look so beautiful. I'm so happy because I always need lip liners, but I never buy them. It's something that I don't buy. I don't really know. I know I need it. I go to the store to buy it and I never buy it. God, I love my face makeup. Love everything. Eyes are so beautiful. Uh, but I also got two lipsticks 
from the Physician's Formula that made me so happy because I really wanted to try this. I got the Bear With Me and I got this uh, All Natural. Hmm, Bear With Me or All Natural. Let's go with this tip. I think it goes good with the, the eyes. And I think I'm going to go in with this slip liner. This is LA Girl blushing so we're going to take this lip liner and line our lips now these liners are so easy to work with i really like it uh, very pigmented very nice mm, so creamy really like this one this is so comfortable on the lips really really like it uh, I really wanted to see the limited edition from this position formula package it's kind of uh, pushed in a little bit let's take ah oh my god it's so beautiful a little bit on top So guys, this is the full face using all of the products that Valerie sent to me. I love every single product. I'm so excited. I'm going to link down below her channel, her videos, my videos, my uh, playlist, all of the box swap videos, and also try on when I try all of the products. So far, I love everything. I love eyeshadow palette. I love the eyelashes, the lips products. The foundation is stunning. The primers are Oh my god, I'm so happy with everything. I'm definitely going to use it. Keep it here in front of me. I need to use this every single day. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. The foundation is perfect match. I like the powder, concealer. I love everything. I'm definitely going to see if these eyelash, um, these eyeshadow primers are going to last. I really hope so. But so far, so good. I'm so excited. Thank you, Valerie. I love you so much. Please guys, check, go check out her channel, go subscribe to her, uh, give a thumbs up if you want to see more box swap videos with uh, uh, box swap videos, and I see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.